Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be glutes and back day. So get ready. This is a wicked combo. We'll go ahead and start doing our first superset. The first move of the day is going to be um, three rounds is what we're going to do here. And this is a glute bridge. We only do five reps, so go heavy as you can. Um, I actually added a pad onto the bar after this first time um, because you are using a heavier weight, so it, it puts a lot of pressure on your hip bones. After you do this, you immediately go into a back movement as your superset here. So you're going to want to do 10 or as many as you can, but I set a goal of doing three sets of 10 for my wide grip pull-ups. I wanted to try to keep a strict movement, try not to kip at all. Um, and so I crossed my ankles today just to make myself have to stay a little bit more into proper position. The next superset that we're going to do is going to be a glute bridge, but this time we're going to hold it at the top for five seconds. I think I actually counted a little bit too fast today, um, but you're going to want to do three uh, sets of five. Again, go heavy, don't be scared, and you notice I have the mat to help keep it uh, padded a little bit. Our back move is going to be a row. Um, I didn't get my angle of the camera quite high enough, but again, go pretty heavy. We're going to do uh, 10 of these. Try to, when you go down, have your arm go out towards uh, at a little bit of an angle so it's not straight up and down. It's a little bit different. Our next superset combo is going to start out with our butts again. We're going to do a kneeling squat. Again, uh, get something underneath your knees to help protect your knees because uh, otherwise it's going to hurt. You're going to just sit back onto your heels, and then as you come up, you want to pull your hips forward and really squeeze your glutes. You're going to do 10 of these. Again, we're doing three rounds. so. Pick a nice weight for you, whatever you wanted to do that you can do controlled. You shouldn't feel any pressure in your back. If you're feeling pressure in your back, then go ahead and lighten up on your load a little bit. But be sure, again, that you're really pulling your hips forward and squeezing your glutes really hard. Okay, you're immediately going to go into your back movement here. This is just a regular seated cable row. You're going to do 10 of these. I try to, again, um, keep real strict form here. I try not to do a whole lot of uh, leaning forward and pulling back, a little bit of kipping almost in a seated row position. So, again, pick a good weight that you can maintain a straight back. Then I go over and I do an overhead uh, pull with a dumbbell. You're going to do 12 of these. I actually made a little circuit for the last few movements. So I'm going to do um, a back movement here, and then I immediately am going to go over and I'm going to do squats. And I just have a kettlebell that I'm using, and I just really want to sit back into that squat so that when I come up again, I'm pulling my hips forward and tightening my glutes. And then immediately after that, I go over and I do a wide grip pull down behind the head. Um, so I just turn around backwards 
um, so that it's to my back. And I'm going to do uh, 10 total pull downs here. So pick a good weight that you can do. You shouldn't feel any stretch or strain or anything in your back or in your neck. If you do, you went too heavy. Again, just try to um, keep good form here and really contract um, your lats on this one as well. And that's all for the day. So that is your glute and back workout. It's a nice combination. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.